Hello and welcome to the Supersize Phys Ed Podcast. I'm your host, Dave Kearney, and I teach in Fort Myers, Florida, kindergarten through fifth grade PE, and I'm on spring break. No, I'm not. I'm on summer break. Summer vacation. Woohoo! And I have some cool things to share with you this summer because I'm in a boot right now. I just had, not surgery, my wife would laugh at me when I say surgery. It was an outpatient patient procedure on my heel. Those of you I met at Shape Tampa know that I was in a boot um, and I'm back in it. Actually, I took it off for a little bit and I had procedure done yesterday actually and my foot really hurts. But that's going to give me some time to podcast and do other things because I don't want to stop. I want to keep going and I want to keep learning and I want to keep listening to podcasts and books and all the good stuff and do lots of cool stuff over the summer with my family and for myself professionally and personally. And I hope you do as well. So this is a Boomer Friday. I haven't done this in a while. So a Boomer goes like this. And here's what it means. It's just five things in general, usually five things that I want to talk about. And at the end of each one, I will go like this. I just want to do that again. So it's Five Boomer Friday, and it is about five books that I have read recently or in the process of reading, and I just want to share them with you because over the summer, again, I hope you keep learning and growing and you know, just pushing your mind into the right directions, I guess. So this is actually a, I'm looking at my list. These are all nonfiction, although I have read some fiction recently and maybe I'll do a a, a fiction one pretty soon. I don't read enough fiction because as I've said before, if you've been listening to, listening to me, I'm kind of a nonfiction snob and I need to get more into fiction actually. So I do have one coming up, though. I definitely want to read. I'll talk about it in a future episode. So when I say read, I will actually tell you if I read these or I listened to these um, because uh, I don't think it really matters. It really doesn't. I, I'm really enjoying Audible and just listening to, to books now. But I also love to read. So the first one, let's go. All right. So the first boomer, the first one is Peak by Anders Ericsson. Now, the deal with Peak is that it's, and I talked about this in a recent uh, episode, is that it takes all of the books I love, like Talent is Overrated, The Talent Code, Outliers, Bounce, all of these, it takes them and, you know, all those books quote him, Anders Ericsson, and his research. So this is the best part for me, is that I get to uh, read Peak. I actually listened to it. Yes, I listened to that one. And it gave all the background um, research on, on learning and talent and hard work and deliberate practice, all the main buzzwords, I guess. And so Peak really opened my eyes to what it takes to, you know, to make it in any sport or any um anything any field and it's hard like teaching is a hard it's not very quantifiable i hope that i said that word right it's it's hard to quantify if you're great at teaching um whereas if you're great at chess you have a rating or you're great at golf you have a handicap you i mean there's all sorts of things and so it's it's hard to say you know you are a great or not great teacher <laughs> it's it's very subjective but it does give some different things and to, to work on and ways to practice your craft. So I love Peak, and that is number one. Number two, I just finished listening to this, and it was amazing. I couldn't stop listening. It is called Endgame. It's about Bobby Fischer, and it's by Frank Brady. Now, there's not a lot of books, like really good books on, on uh, Bobby Fischer. I have just... I you know I think everybody knows kind of about Bobby Fischer if you follow chess at all or you are alive I don't know <laughs> I think most people know that he was a child chess prodigy which I'll talk about in more detail soon but it was more than that oh and then he here's what people for the most part know they know he was a child chess prodigy he won the world championship he 
kind of disappeared off the map. He came back for one big match, and then he disappeared again and went kind of crazy. And that's kind of true, but there's a lot more to it than that. And it's just an amazing book, and it really made me think about, um, you know, all the hard work you put into something, and then, I don't know, like, at the top, it's, maybe it's a little lonely, maybe it's it just his personality, but he definitely, he had some problems, and but he was a genius, and he worked hard, and it just, it was kind of a sad uh way to end things i guess when he passed away about 10 years ago so um but it's a great book and it's not just like if you love chess you don't have to love chess to understand or appreciate this book so end game is number two it is awesome okay the art of learning by josh waitskin now i haven't finished this i'm halfway through so i'm not gonna say i did i'm halfway through on audible listening to this and I first heard about him um, through my, the podcast, my podcast, not my podcast, through Tim Ferriss's podcast. I was going to say the podcast I listen to. Tim Ferriss is a good friend of his, and he actually uh, published this book for Josh Waitzkin. They become good friends, and he was the subject of searching for Bobby Fischer, the movie, back in 1993. His father actually wrote the book, and then he. Um, got famous because of it, but he really was, he was another kind of like Bobby Fischer, chess prodigy at a young age. And what I didn't know is that because of that movie, he, well, two things. One is Bobby Fischer himself did not appreciate that movie being named Searching for Bobby Fischer. And two, well, I learned that from the movie Endgame, or sorry, not the movie, Endgame. <laughs> I'm thinking, thinking uh, wrong Endgames here. There's Endgame from Taylor Swift and there's Endgame from uh, the Avengers. This was Endgame Bobby Fischer. Um, he did not appreciate them using his his name. So in The Art of Learning, um, Josh Waitzkin, he talked about how after that movie came out, he became famous and people would, you know, basically bug him at, at chess tournaments. And, and uh, while it was kind of cool, it was hard for his conf- concentration and eventually he kind of burnt out because of it. Or that's, that was one of the reasons. And so um, this isn't just about chess, though, this book. It's about, that's why it's called The Art of Learning he talks about how he you know takes things apart and learns them how he became not only a champion in chess but then transitioned as an adult to tai chi which is kind of neat because he was world class in two different things and he talks about how he you know is learning or has learned different things and that's what he thinks he's an expert on just learning things and again i haven't finished it but it is it is a really good book and it's really well done and he just breaks things down for the reader which is what I need. So anyways, Art of Learning is a great book. That is number three. All right. I talked about the 5 a.m. club before, but it is a really, really good book. And I mean, I guess you could break it down into (laughs) get up early. (laughs) You know, that's the main thing. But getting up early and doing certain rituals, um, journaling, meditating, if you want, or using like Calm or Headspace or something exercising just enjoying the morning and then getting stuff done too i mean getting things done when everybody else is sleeping and you know focusing getting your hard work your your main focus done in the morning and i guess i probably just saved you like some money by but there's way more that than that there's way more tactics and it's a great story he puts it in like a a fiction this is robin sharma one of my favorite probably favorite authors of all time he puts it in a like a a fiction story but you're you're learning things the characters are learning and he so he's teaching through the characters and it's really he he does a lot of books like that and it's it's really well done so the 5 a.m club get it get out of bed get moving that is number four all right my final one for the day is called keep going by austin cleon now he is also one of my favorite writers even though his books aren't very long, and they're, he doesn't have a lot of them. He wrote Show Your Work and Steal Like an Artist. And those are all really well done, especially um, I have them on the iPad. So, yes, I re- actually read those books. I don't think you actually could. I don't think they, are, they even are on Audible. And it is definitely something you need to see. It's a nice visual-looking book. 
and all three of these. So the, the newest one that came out very recently, like about a month or two ago, it's called Keep Going. And it's just, it's all about creativity and how you need to channel it and the rituals, kind of like I talked about in the 5, 5 a.m. club. Um, it's just about, he's really, he's really an artist. So it's really about taking your craft, taking your art to a new level and appreciating it, you know, enjoying it, the process, and, you know, finding your path, finding your way. And I really love his books. I'm just in general, all three of those books are incredible. But that is his new one called Keep Going. I definitely recommend it and recommend all of his books. Again, show your work and steal like an artist is just awesome. So Austin Kleon, Keep Going. That's what it's called. Keep Going. That is number five. All right, everybody. Those are my five books for the summer. Um, I'm going to definitely add to them as I go. It's just the beginning of summer. I got, I got a couple months here. So I'm going to add to these. I'll do another boomer, maybe a nonfiction next time, or at least five more books pretty soon coming up. You guys and girls are awesome. Take care. Keep reading. That's all. That's what it's all about. Keep learning. Keep reading. Keep going. Just like it's called, right? Right. right number five. Keep going. <laughs> it's by Austin Cleon. So keep going, just like he said, and take care. Have a great day. Here's a new beat for you.